Happening right now, thousands of people are taking part in the 37th annual AIDS Walk Philly. That event helps those in our area living with HIV. Let's get right out to CBS News Philadelphia's Ross DiMatte joining us live from the Art Museum where that walk, as you can see, just got underway. Ross, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, prompt start for the uh, 37th annual AIDS Walk Philly. Actually, an early start. These folks got off uh, a few minutes ago, and you can see just a mass exodus as they walk from the steps of the Art Museum. They're going to go all the way to the Girard Bridge and come back. That's a bit of a different route compared to years past. They usually go down Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Drive, but instead, this year, because MLK Jr. Drive is blocked off, they're going the opposite way, going down Kelly Drive, which, again, is just a beautiful walk in its own right. Let's talk about what this is all about. This is a massive fundraiser to help out the more than 27,000 people in the greater Philadelphia area who are currently living with HIV and AIDS. It's kind of a shocking number. You don't think of it uh, as still affecting so many lives, but that's exactly what's happening. And that's why you see the turnout that we do. Uh, thousands of people have come out today, as they have in years past, to try and add to the total, which is more than $18 million that they've raised over the past nearly 40 years for uh, this great cause. And uh, there hoping to add on to that total. Jan, today, it's going to be about an hour-long walk, and then they're going to end up back here at the Art Museum steps to celebrate the strides that they have made in raising all that money for these folks who have struggled with this horrible disease uh, over the, the past uh, several decades, and um, really providing them with life-saving services. A lot of times, it's uh, pr allowing them to stay in the housing where they're at, keeping the lights on, keeping uh, the air conditioning or the heating going, or providing medical uh, necessities, things like canes and hearing aids, just things that they need in order to live a fulfilling life. So this really is a great cause. Again, they've raised more than $18 million already. They're hoping to add to that total today. Hopefully we can get you an updated total uh, later on today. But um, Jan, it's been really a great turnout. People from all different walks of life. It just shows you how many people have been touched by HIV and AIDS. I'll send it back to you. A fantastic turnout. And clearly the need is still there to provide all those vital services. So we're happy to see all those people stepping up to the plate. Ross. Thanks so much.